Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures. It's your daily midday market minute. Stocks are surging. NASDAQ hit 16,000. But before I get to it, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the link below and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And if you're watching from our website, there's also a link below to direct you to YouTube. But you can subscribe that way. We'd love you to follow us. We'd love you to help us build our following. Yes, the equity markets are ripping higher. You have the NASDAQ now hitting 16,000. But this is a broad move. It started with the small caps today. In fact, the NASDAQ was down. Uh, and it was working back on the day when Microsoft announced that it would start selling subscriptions. To, uh, AI subscriptions to businesses, and that really made it more broad-based. Got tech uh, invited into the party today. Uh, small caps are consolidating near session highs. The S&P is running into our next big resistance level, 4588. See how that's uh, treated here as well. The NASDAQ hitting 16,000. We do have our next big resistance level up there, 15,970 to 16,000. So we'll see how that's all received here. Maybe a little bit of exhaustion, but uh, you cannot argue that this market is not in a bear market. Yes, there are some people out there that still think this is a bear market. Um, but really from the data point, uh, Goldilocks numbers from retail sales, this month was a little below expectations. However, last month was revised higher, so it balanced out pretty well. What's going to be big is tomorrow, new home sales. Remember, the May number was a blowout number, 21% month over month. Uh, we're, looking at, uh, we're looking at the new one for June, and that has got to come in a little bit. If this comes in high, then it's going to really start getting the rate market going going up again. Uh, and treasuries will start selling off. The dollar will increase in value. And they'll start pricing at a September rate hike. We don't want to see that. That, that would put pressure on risk assets, and commodities, and stocks. So uh, we'll see that number right there. That's going to be a big one. Look at it coming out tomorrow, 7.30 a.m. Central Time, along with building permits. So that's going to be big. But as we move on, uh, you got crude oil has like these sort of Goldilocks or strong retail sales numbers that show that the consumer is still alive. Crude oil moving higher. Got API after the bell today. $75 to 75 and a half is a big battleground. The metals are showing up uh, today too, but they're trickling back a little bit. You're seeing rates rise later part of the session here on this risk on move, and that's kind of weighing on gold. But gold has a nice little bull flag that built out here through into today in that bull flag breakout, as happened today. We want to see this hold uh, really battle the upper 1970s to 1980 area and build for a move net up to 2000. Silver consolidating too. Platinum dinged $1,000 and retreated. Copper still the dog of the week. But our team is here to help. Give us a shout. 312-278-0500. Remember, futures trading involves substantial risk of losses. It's not suitable for all investors.